Hey guys, JK95 here. I previously said I was taking a temporary hiatus from YouTube to focus on my writing, my music, my mental health, and my current state of affairs. I'm still doing that, but I decided to go see a cool movie I thought would be cool called The Possession of Hannah Grace, and tonight I present to you da 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 my official review of The Possession of Hannah Grace. Just so you guys know, this is probably going to be the last video I make for a while, as I'm still doing the temporary hiatus from YouTube. Don't know when I'll be back after this video, but probably going to be the last video I make this year. Just throwing it out there. So I've been in the market for a new horror movie ever since The Nun came out, and I did my review video on that. And the possession of Hannah Grace caught my eye because it involves supernatural horror that I like and along with a different twist and so I decided to give it a shot since the opportunity came up and saw the movie and here are my thoughts. Four and a half stars out of five and two solid thumbs up. So, The Possession of Hannah Grace is about this 23-year-old girl named Hannah Grace who dies in a botched exorcism and her body is taken to this morgue. Fast forward three months and we're introduced to this girl named Megan who's working the graveyard shift at the morgue. She in receives the body and weird things start occurring for a while and this girl is this girl Megan is a recovering alcoholic as well as a big atheist and at first she thinks like it's just her imagination and things going wild and then then this demonic entity living inside the body starts m manifesting in a number of ways like and it gets pretty ugly pretty fast However, I am not going to spoil the movie. I'm not Smokey Dog. If you want to know what happens, go see it for yourself. I'm just here to tell you it was very, very scary to me. I haven't been this scared from a horror film since The Conjuring 2. The Possession of Hannah Grace and The Conjuring 2 are up there of the scariest films I've seen in recent memory. The reason I gave it four and a half stars out of five is because a lot of the characters' actions throughout the movie, I'm not going to spoil anything, are kind of a little on the cliche side, and the fact that the black character dies as usual. <sighs> Dang it, I said I wasn't going to spoil anything, but I'll just spoil this one thing. The main black character on the sh in the movie dies. But he's not the first to die. I'm not gonna tell you who that is, but the black guy dying in the horror in horror movies has been a thing throughout the horror genre for a long time, like longer than I've been alive, lo longer than my parents have been alive. It's still going on in 2018. I remember the last time I saw it was like in the movie Happy Death Day in 2016. I mean 2017. And I think it's about time to retire that trope. It shouldn't be happening in 2018. But then again, there are a lot of tropes that shouldn't be happening in 2018. And like I said before, he's not the first to die. If you want to know who the first to die is, go see the movie for yourself. That's the only spoiler I'm going to give. I'm not Smokey Dog. Other than the black character on the in the movie dying and the characters act other characters acting very very cliché. This is generally a very very frightening movie. The the demon controlling Hannah Grace's body is extremely hideous and manifests and it manifests in her body and it is just so like, I'm like, oh god, that's how, and the way it moved, and like, I'm like, and this takes place in a morgue, and the other thing I like about this movie in particular that I gave it four and a half stars out of five, the addiction theme, and overcoming addiction, and like, and having a lot of people not believe you. I kind of noticed certain scenes in the movie, I'm not going to spoil them. 
that seemed kind of feminist if you ask me. But that's just my opinion. Go see for yourself if you want to see which scenes I'm talking about. Overall, a great movie. Not just not just a great horror movie, but it's but I like the undertones of overcoming addiction. A lot of people can relate to that, and I could see the hidden symbolism throughout the movie that related to that. And once again, four and a half stars out of five, two solid thumbs up. However, I'm not done yet. I just wanted to let you guys know that this is probably going to be the last video I make this year, and I'm currently on a indefinite YouTube hiatus. This is my choice because I'm trying to focus on my writing career, my music career, my mental health, and my quality of life. However, I'd like to, I, I do have a little announcement I'd like to make. I am changing my pen name for my novels from J.A. Lloyd to Jacob Underhill. I'll explain that in a later video when I decide to come back to YouTube. That is it for tonight, folks. JK95 here. Peace.